Hello, Manam and Gyaldam. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm comparing a clone to an original fragrance. This fragrance is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. It will definitely be a fragrance I'm going to keep in my collection forever because I love this fragrance so damn much and I just had to get a clone because I'm running out of the original and I don't want to waste the original. So I told myself, let me find a good clone that's close enough so I can spray as much as I want and get that DNA without spending the price of the fragrance. Obviously, I'm talking about none other than Armoire Reflection Man. Yes, this fragrance is just amazing, man. I can't even say more. It's just so smooth, amazing, floral, orris powderiness, super versatile. You can't go wrong with this. But when you know the retail price of this and how much you can get it even on discounters, it's still very expensive. Whilst this right here, Khadla Shiaka, this one right here, is roughly 35, 40 bucks. And this, I purchased this, I think around 200, 250. Retail price for this one is 499. So 499 versus 40 bucks, sub 40 bucks. You see, that's a big difference. So now I'm gonna spray for you guys and compare the smells to tell you guys how close it is or how far it is and if it's worth purchasing as a replacement or even as something you want to use when you don't want to use a real deal. Is it that close that people will not tell? I'm gonna tell you guys all of that just now. Already the bottle of this one, it is extremely heavy, I have to say. And it kind of reminds me of a Car a Prada Luna Rosa Carbon with the color scheme black, a bit of like, you know, glossy blackness out here at the bottom, and a bit of silver, obviously not the same design. I'm just talking about the color with the red, the black, and silver. That's the only thing I'm talking about. So, calmate un poco, don't come going crazy, saying that, oh, this guy's trying to say this is look like Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. No, it don't. The color scheme. All right, we good. I'm gonna spray this one. I'm gonna spray this one right here on my arm, because I didn't spray nothing there. I already smelled the dry down, which is here on my wrist. And then after that, I'm gonna spray the original, which is on um, watch reflection map on this wrist right here. So I can compare the smells. All right. So I'm gonna spray this right here. Y'all are gonna see the sprayer. It's a pretty nice misty spray. Look at that, still in the air. I still see the particles. <laughs> Might have ate a little some some, but hey. When you first spray it, it's a bit synthetic, it has a bit of a lemony smell, even a bit minty. It kind of reminds me of like a Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mal, the original version of the toilette, when you first spray this thing. <clears throat> Let me smell it. It smells a bit candy, but more like a dryer sheets, but like very synthetic, cheap dryer sheet smell. It's a bit synthetic still, it's a bit even abrasive it's a bit strong but i still like it it's invigorating but it already reminds me of the original you get a bit more of strong lemony powderiness as well but it's like a very strong how do you call it dryer sheets smell and then some type of yellow floral notes that's in there I don't know what type of flower it is. Maybe some ylang ylang that's very prominent or some type of jasmine. I know there's a bit of that petty grain. I think that's one of the things with the pink pepper that's in this, that's also in the, the original. And it's something that's very distinct in this signature. It smells already very similar, but the opening is slightly different to the original, I have to say, because of that syntheticness, it's not as smooth. Now, I'm gonna spray the original on my right wrist. Ah, magnetic cap, I just love that. Even though my thing always comes out like this and I have to push down, probably a little quality control issue, but thank God, no leaking, so I can't complain. Anyways, spray on this is pretty decent, I have to say. Already, the opening on this is not that abrasive at all. Now that I'm smelling them both, the openings are kind of similar.
This also has that dryer sheet vibes, but it's so much more smoother. It's incredible. Even the ingredients, they don't hurt your nose that much. It's not like alcohol blast in the beginning like you get with the $40 one. It shows its price. The quality is definitely better on the original. I have to say, hands down, there's no question about it. Ah, oh, and then when it starts to envelop, it's like a buttery orus that you start to get. The floors are coming in slowly, slowly, slowly. The pedigree is in there too. Big pepper as well. It's just building up. Oh, but this one is a bit more creamier. Oh, nah, this one, the quality, you can't compare it to that $40 one, man. Okay. Wow. This one is very close also to the clone. I smell that Yelan Yelan coming in, but it's not the same prominence, I have to say. The main difference I'm getting is that this, the powderiness and the dryer sheet scent is way more smooth. That's probably due to like the way it was blended, but also the quality and the materials. Otherwise, the clone pretty much copied it to a T, the progression. It did a very good job, I have to say. But the difference also is that this is, becomes more powdery quicker and the floors, the florals are there, but they're not overpowering. And I think that's one of the main issues with the clone is that all the floral and powdery notes are overpowering since the beginning. And there's less of that transition like there is in the original. Ah, uh, now the fragrance has dried down. Incredible. Now let me smell the clone. Mm. I have to say, the original has some type of richness to it. A bit of a heaviness that's lacking in the clone. The clone feels a bit more airy. Maybe it might have a better projection, but longevity wise, as in like how potent and dark it is going to be on your skin, the original is going to be a bit more potent. Maybe it's because I've had it longer or just the quality and the ingredients, but the original is a bit more closer to my skin with a nice central, a nice sillage, but it's more delicate as compared to the clone. The clone might have a better sillage, but it doesn't seem like it's going to have the same longevity. I feel like the clone might lack a bit in the longevity department, but it might have a great sillage. The best thing about the clone is that it really mimics the scent profile and the way the scent wears, as in the opening, the way that it envelops with the florals and the powderiness, and then you get that more vetivery sandalwoodedness that's coming in. Very nice scent. And also it just envelops just like the fragrance itself, like the original. You get that top, the progression from the top nose to the mid, very smooth, very soft. Even though the clone is more synthetic and does it in a more abrasive way, it still mimics the fragrance way of like decomposing itself. And that's very impressive because you really need to know how the fragrance is. You need to really have had experience with it to know how it's gonna wear, how it dries down, how it dies off. And all of those things are really incredible to find in a $40 fragrance. Oh, wow. I have to say, for 40 bucks, they did an extremely good job. I have to say this is like 90%. I have to say 90 because the ingredients are not the same. And because of that, you can tell that there's a slight difference in the way it's trying to mimic the fragrance, but it's doing it the same way and with the same sense. However, it's not the same quality. And I can definitely tell that, especially after owning a Mark Reflection Man for more than a year, wearing it all the time, I can tell the difference, but it's very small because if somebody made me smell this side by side, or if it was in the air, I would not be able to tell the difference in the air. Side by side is a different situation. I know this fragrance, even blinded, I would tell the difference, I believe. My nose is very, very good. I have these big nostrils for a reason. I can distinguish different scents very well without seeing any notes. So trust me when I say this, Khadla Shiaka is a major win. This one, 
they really did a good job 90 percent the same all right the way that the opening is there it's synthetic so don't get it wrong yes it's synthetic but it works it's exactly the same the way that the scent envelops the way that there's that sillage the way it's a bit close to the skin you forget about it but then when you move around in the air it's there it does exactly that it's honestly very hard to tell the difference between the two when they fully dry down so give it time to dry down and after that five minute mark it's going to become almost the same very very hard to distinguish the difference i have to say and personally i would declare this one a very good clone if you want to get something that's close to a much reflection man this is probably the closest you can get to the fragrance for the price for 40 bucks i don't think you'll find any clone that's better would i recommend this over the original this is too early for me to say i need to wear it more but honestly i don't ever think you can replace an original that's lasted for so long and that sold so well you know when you talk about homage the first two fragrances people talk about is reflection man and jubilation 25 and if it's still selling like it is it's definitely because it's a fragrance that's hard to replicate but also the quality and the way it just smells is amazing and for 40 bucks they did a really good job at trying to mimic it i would say you should get this if you don't have the money to get a much reflection man you sampled it before you like the scent but you want something that smells like it that's not going to break the bank you can go for this but it's not going to replace the original don't think that if you want to save your precious bottle of scented water that costs you an arm and a leg of the original then you get this spray whenever you want when you want to go to bed when you just want to go run errands and then the original when you go into the high class suit and tie event or you want to impress people you wear the original and you get to save the original and you still get to wear the dna whenever you want so it's a win-win definitely try this one out for the price amazing full review is gonna come soon i'm gonna be wearing this one a bit more than the reflection man and then i'm gonna tell you guys how good it is or not so stay tuned for the full review hope you guys enjoyed the video press a like comment down below and subscribe Hadlashiaka. Definitely something you should try. From Aroma Concepts, same house as uh, Paris Corner and all those clones like Fire Your Desire and all of that. They did a pretty good job. I know there's a different clone out there, but it's kind of trash. It's the one that's called Killer Oud Revolution. I saw many reviews and they said it was trash. So that's why I didn't try that one. And I went for this one instead. Not disappointed. Very good. Purchase it. Have a great day, night, and evening. You already know the deal. Peace. Thank you.